The third logical fallacy that we're going to talk about in this series is that of using incomplete facts. This is another very common one. Um, it can also be referred to as card stacking or cherry picking. Um, we see that in a lot of lists of logical fallacies, a lot of examples. So if you see somebody refer to a logical fallacy under either of these names um, or as incomplete facts, we're all talking about the same thing. Um, the idea being that if you stack the cards, right, you're using just the ones that would be in your favor. Okay. Um, and with cherry picking, the idea being that you are selecting um, just pieces of information. So with this fallacy, um, it really is best summed up just by saying that it's using evidence that supports your side of the argument and only evidence that supports your side of the argument. So you are conveniently ignoring any evidence that might uh, detract from your argument, that might support somebody who is against your argument. You are just using the useful things for yourself. Um, this is very commonly used, especially when we are using quotes from people, um, whether by accident or on purpose. We see a lot of times where a quote from someone uh, isn't fully included, but only a part of it is. And sometimes that single part that we pick is lacking a broader context that can very much change what people say. Um, that specifically, that practice of using this incomplete facts logical fallacy when it comes to quotes is called quote mining specifically. Right? Um, and this is a logical fallacy simply because it does not accurately present all of the information on a topic. Um, it can make it seem like you have a very strong position, but just because you only include evidence from your side doesn't mean that your side is actually right. It just means that you ignored uh, a percentage of the facts instead. Uh, so some examples that we have, one that has come up a lot this year in particular, uh, more so early on, but I think still has a little bit of a stronghold today, would be the claim that there are more cases of the flu each year than there have been cases of the coronavirus. Right? So at one point in this, that fact was true. However, we're missing some parts of the puzzle, right? We're missing the severity, um, which one of these is more serious, uh, the transmission rate, which one of these is easier to give to somebody else, fatality, which one of these is more likely to kill somebody or leave them with very substantial lasting harm. So we see that here as well, the missing evidence. And so that's why this is a good example of the incomplete facts logical fallacy.